Attention, every pony! Attention! The official Rainbow Dash fan club will come to order. Let's get right down to our first order of business. I motion that Rainbow Dash be declared the most awesome pony in Ponyville. I second the motion. And might I add that if you looked up the word awesome in the dictionary, there would be a picture of Rainbow Dash. Yeah! <laughs> Object. I think the word awesome is played out. Rainbow Dash deserves better. I motion that we declare her the most stupendous pony. Stupendous? Is that the best you've got? I motion that we declare her wonderific. Astonishing. Breathtaking. Astounding. Bedazzling. What about Super Ultra Extreme Awesome Amazing? Yeah. 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 All in favor of declaring Rainbow Dash the most super ultra extra of whatever you said, pony in all of Ponyville, say aye. Aye! aye. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Pony, it was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dad. That Rainbow Dash sure is something. Something special. And I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. 
And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name. Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack, how would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof-picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike the Anyway, Spike here writes down everything I say. Don't you, Spike? Don't you, Spike. Got it! This way, I can stay focused on performing those acts of bravery that no pony else has the guts to perform. Yeah, it takes guts. But it also takes brains. And sometimes a big lunch in an hour. Being a hero is surely not for every pony, but I'm up to the challenge. There you go. Someday, I want to be just like you. Aim high, kid, but don't aim for the impossible. <laughs> 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 Don't you think you should go and help? Yeah, yeah. I've got a good ten seconds to spare. Just a couple more. Attention is unbearable. The Rainbow Dash make it on time? Today, I dub this new masked hero the mysterious Mayor Do Well. Mayor Do Well, huh? Well, that mayor would do well to stay out of my way. Ponyville's only got room for one hero, and that hero is me. just muscle, and she's gonna learn that the hard way.
Her lives. Okay, she's strong, fast, and somehow knows what's gonna happen ahead of time. I gotta step up my game. she used to fix the dam. Seems like something like that would take quite a bit of study. She really cares about every pony's safety. Have you seen her costume? It is to die for! If you ask me, she's a hero of fashion. And she's modest and humble. She lets her actions speak for themselves. You gotta admire that. I don't have to admire that. I don't think she's all that great. She's great. I didn't say that. Sounds like some pony's jealous. Who, me? Rainbow Dash is jealous. Don't break that, Spike! <laughs> <laughs> Correction. Rainbow Dash is very jealous. Fine! Laugh all you want. But I'll be the one laughing when I prove to you all that I'm just as good... No, that I'm a better hero than Merduel! <laughs> No sign of trouble here, darn it. Buses and baby carriages are always careening down this hill. Where is an out-of-control vehicle when you need one? Uh, there are absolutely no freak natural disasters going on anywhere. How am I supposed to prove myself when everything's so normal and safe? <gasps> Hold it right there, Granny Smith. You don't have to pretend with me. I can see that you're in way over your head here. What yet? You're putting on a brave face. I get it, but you don't have to anymore. I'll help you cross the street. <laughs> Actually, I can cross the street just fine. Don't worry. You're an extremely capable fool. <sighs> Here we are, safe and sound. A good and heroic citizen deserves a little recognition, don't you think? I didn't want to cross the street in the first place. <laughs> Some 
he's in trouble. Ah. <sighs> You'd better let me handle this, ma'am. For your own safety, I must ask you to stand back. Oh, brother. what I just did. Would you say I was amazing? Aren't you milking this a bit? Please, just answer the question. Was I or was I not amazing? No, you're amazing, all right. And amazingly... Oh, look! <laughs> Another great feat of heroism. I have just saved that grass. From what? From wheat. Weeds that were attempting to eat this lawn. Lame. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? All any pony talks about is mare do well this and mare do well that. What about me? How could every pony forget about me so easily? I mean. Have I changed? Same sleek body, same flowing mane, same spectacular hooves. Nope, I'm still awesome. They're wrong. But then why am I all alone? I hate being all alone. Hey, Rainbow Dash! I knew it! <laughs> no need to apologize, Squirt. Any pony can make a mistake. Mistake? What mistake? Wait a minute. Why are you here? To invite you to join us. We're heading off to the thank you parade for Ponyville's greatest hero, Merduel. No! No way! Can't you see I, I want to be alone? I love being alone. Oh, okay. See you later then. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna thank her. Oh, thank you, Merduel, whoever you are, for ruining it. Hey, Squirt! Wait up! Welcome to Ponyville's first, but surely not last, thank you parade in honor of our city's greatest hero, the mysterious Fair Do Well! <laughs> the carriage bus with these babies. Bucky McGilligutty and Kicks McGee. I saved the construction workers with my pinky sense. Sorry! It's all right. And I used my magic to fix the dam. Ooh, ooh, and I did the fly-by afterwards. I made the costumes. Fabulous if I do say so myself. I don't understand. Why? Don't you want me to be a hero? Of course we want you to be a hero. 
But a real hero doesn't brag. Uh, I guess I did start to brag a little. A, a little? little? Okay, a lot. Celebrating your accomplishments is natural, but rubbing them in every pony's face is not. Yeah, the only thing that should be rubbed in any pony's face is chocolate cake. I think we're getting off topic here. What we're trying to say is, it's great to be really good at something, but it's important to act with grace and humility. loads more sense. Yeah, you're right. And I guess I should also act with grace and humility when others outshine me. Like Merduel. Sounds like you've got a letter to write to Princess Celestia. Already got it covered. As your ghostwriter, I've already penned a letter to the princess. That's nice of you, Spike. But I really want to write this letter myself. Oh, come on. I wrote the whole thing already. Okay, let's hear it. <clears throat> Dear Princess Sol Look out! It's a real ghost! Huh? <laughs> 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 <laughs>